Hey, what is going on, guys? EK Drifter 458 here, and today, welcome to some online drifting with the Volkswagen Carrado. Now, I'm not showed you this yet. And I think this is the perfect time to do so, so none of these guys that I'm playing with know I'm recording, so it's going to be a big surprise for them. And if any of these are watching or in this game, surprise, I'm recording, so anyway, they can't hear me, so anyway, we're in Cistern right now, we're going to be doing some drifting around there, so as I said, I've been promising you the Corrado, and I don't want to keep these white guys waiting, so let's go, because <laughs> um. I've wanted to record some online drifting for a long, long, long time, guys. I'm, I've wanted to wait until there's a few people in the lobby to actually do it. So I've muted them all so you can't really hear them. But uh, these guys play with me all the time. So uh, I know a lot of you say, oh, when's the open lobby going to be? When's a big open lobby going to be? Um, dedicated to you guys. It will be soon. It really, really will be soon. Or you can just join me uh, whenever I'm online. Because that's all I really do is just drift in that online. So... Sometimes I like to cruise, depends on what sort of mood I'm in, so... Anyway, this is my little VW Corrado. It is loosely based on the one from Horizon 1, because um, it is in a wee bit darker red. It's kind of like the carbonate red from GTA. It kind of looks like that, um, like a wine ready colour. And I've got the gold, like, stance nation rims on it, because this one is a, a tad bit stanced, like, quite stanced. The wheels are pretty damn stanced, and the suspension is lowered all the way down. I wish we had a, web ca a webcam on this one because it's so good because uh, tell me in the comments guys, do you know if there's like a different um, like webcam software for consoles rather than XSplit because I would want to use that because I think Slap Train's got the best setup for the webcams because um, he uses something different than XSplit because with XSplit it's a freaking nightmare to set things up so I don't know what everyone else says but this is basically my route around Cisterin, so it's very, 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 very easy to get the hang of with the VW. It really, really is. It's converted to rear-wheel drive, and yeah, if you slam it a little bit and add some negative camber, you should be able to get this thing sliding very, very damn well, even for beginners. Really, really well, because I don't know how much horsepower I put into it. I think it's around about 500, that guy in the Civic. You better move, mate. Oh, God. Oh, everything's happening now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm trying to think of a route that we should go. Um, oh, here we go. Here's my little drifting bit. Oh, shit. Anyway, I'm going to try and concentrate in this video. I'm trying to get some great little drifting shots for you guys. Because normally when I'm talking to you, I don't really concentrate that much. But with this one, I really, really do. But yeah, it's quite sad that I can't listen to my own music right now. Because, well, I can, but the microphone will pick it up. It really, really will. Because... I've been listening to Martin Garrix Tremor, as I said, in the Skyline build. It's fucking awesome with this game, it really, really is. So let's see if anyone else is following us. Yep, guy in 370 is following us. Love that car. Really, really do. Transit ends! Oh shit, that was close. Oh, <laughs> get the fight of my life. Oh, 360! Here we go, man. Yes. Doing my signature move there. Let's see if we can actually put one off. One in reverse and yes, there we go. Because it's quite hard to pull off a 360 in this game, depending on how much power you've got. But with the Corrado, since it is quite a short wheelbase and it's got oh, 500 horsepower, it is a lot of power, right? But it's not a, a lot of power compared to the cars in this game. Really, really isn't. So we're gonna go and take the right right now. So we go. Oh shit, that was a bit too much. Maybe we overcooked that there. Oh my god. Hey, let's do some cockpit view. Now, I uh, added a roll cage into it as well, just to add some more stability and stuff. I better wait for them, because I don't know where the hell they went. They're just trying to catch up with me, because I'm too fast for y'all, man. Boom, 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 boom. But it's the one song that's been stuck in my head recently. It's that freaking, oh, what do you call it? Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum, da -da -dum -da -da. Oh, thanks for that, mate. <laughs> I'm trying to sing Little John. I get rear-ended by Mercedes C63 Black Series. Hmm, I'm tempted. Shall we take this thing off-road drifting? Uh, no, we'll do that later. We'll do that later, because that is an awesome little off-road drifting section back there. Fifth gear drifting. Holy shit. Didn't expect to be doing that today. Holy moly. Well, this is the road back down to Nice, guys. It really is. This is one of, one of the best drift roads in the game, I would say. Not this, but obviously, because it is quite straight. But when you get down to this corner down here, it's pretty damn awesome. It really, really is. So... I don't know 
it's taking them so long to catch up? Because I would like them to go in front so they can see themselves in the video, so... If that SLS guy wants to go ahead... Oh shit, what the fuck? I don't know if you guys noticed that, but every time... Uh, everyone, blah, every once in a while there seems to be little bumps in the road that can affect yourself, that like, can spin you out properly, so... It's weird. Shit, that was a fucking crap entry at that corner there. Anyway, concentrate, EK. Concentrate. Get some very, very nice angles going. Well, we might possibly be going in two cars in this episode, guys, because the cradle's good in that, but I really, 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 really want to drive a different car as well. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Keep going, keep going, keep going. They are back there, so... I could probably drift my Jera in this episode, but I want to save that for like a free ride and something like that, because the Jera that I've got, over 1300 brake horsepower. Yeah, you heard me, 1300. It's freaking crazy, but it's so controllable as well, because I've slammed the suspension, I've not put any camber on it or anything like that, but it is amazing how much the ride height does make a difference of like controllability and stuff. Oh, I love that noise! Oh, it's the little eh, get on the, get on the um, pavement and stuff like that. Oh yes, there you go, Mercedes C63. You can go ahead, mate. This is the bad thing; they can't hear me now because um, I didn't want to. I didn't really want to put my mic in because it'd be kind of awkward because I don't really know them all. I've spoken to a few of them, but still, oh shit. Because that's the thing. I know a lot of you guys say, "Oh, EK, e come on, your mic, come on, your mic." Oh my god, two seconds, I'm getting distracted. Look at that! Holy shit, I've not seen that reflection in the water before. Oh my, that's probably one of the most beautiful sights I've seen in this game. God, I wish it was in my F-Type right now. Oh, that is amazing. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Right, let's see if we can get a nice drift through these gates. Yeah, you. Yeah. So I think the closest I've ever come in, I've ever came to actually hitting that was when I was doing the F-Type montage. So if you go back and watch that, if you've not already seen it already, um, I did put a hell of a lot of time into that montage, so I would appreciate if you go and watch it if you haven't seen it already. Um, because it's really, really good. really, really do like it. Um, we'll try and head out to the docks in a minute, because I know I've done this in the Skyline build. I don't exactly want to show you the same area twice in one day, but... It depends if this goes up on the same day, I'm not too sure. Might be, might not be. Oh, little Corrado. Let's go with thin the cones. Nope, I hit the cones. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, come on, come on. Yes. Sliding V-dub in the club. <laughs> Sliding V-dub in the club. In the club. In the club, in the club, in my V-dub, bitch. <laughs> I mean, the Corrado is quite a unique car, it really, really is. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's just a Golf Coupe. Now, I agree with them on some point, but it's just, what the fuck is that Audi doing? It's a ghost car! It's a ghost light! <laughs> Looking mater from cars like, it's the ghost light! Meh! <laughs> it sounded like a fucking sheep there. It's the ghost light! Meh! <laughs> anyway, we'll head down to Nice and see what's happening here. Because um, I want to change into a different car, as I said. Ooh, God! <laughs> Let's go into some cockpit view, because the little Corrado is quite nice on interior view. Oh, it's wall tapping it like a bossy! Oh, yes! That was more of a slam than a tap, so... Oh, yes! Keep her going! Keep her going! Oh, shit! Yes! C63, don't you dare smash into me! Because there was, um... I was playing with you guys, these guys earlier on, and I got over a hundred thousand, like combo-wise, a hundred thousand times six, and then um, someone slammed right into me. I was pissed. I was very, very pissed. Oh yes, I was. So I wasn't pissed, but I was like, no, no, it took me so long to go up there. Oh my god. So anyway, um, is that prefer in this game? I prefer drifting on the outside view, whereas Forza Motorsport Five, I prefer driving an inside view. It is weird, it is really, really weird, but the cars look, it, the interior view, I mean, it's dark compared to like, well, it's always dark in Forza Motorsport 5, I believe, it's like a quite shadowy thing, uh, apart from when you go on to Prague, when you're literally blinded by the sunlight, <laughs> I can't
can't fucking see. I'm driving a McLaren P1 and I'm going to die because the sunlight, <laughs> the sunlight hurts my eyes. That's the one band I've not heard of in a little while is Modestep. Now, I was a massive, massive fan. Still, I'm a massive, massive fan of them because they had the song in Forza. Oh my fucking god. Oh, <laughs> come on, please. I knew I heard an SLS somewhere. Oh, she sounds dirty. Dirty SLS. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and change the car right now, guys. Um, because this might... I might do a garage tour video pretty soon because I was wanting to make a montage because I was halfway through recording one. And then I was like, this is going to drag on for a while, so I might make it a montage or just quickly through the, um, quickly go through the cars and stuff. So, yeah, I'm trying to think, what could we use? Well, I've got an area of I've got my custom, I might show you the Aston. Yeah, I'll show you the Aston, because I've not actually drifted this thing yet on a video, so it's pretty damn cool. It really is cool. Um, not too sure if I put camber on this. I don't think I have, so... Yeah, I am actually dying for a drink here, guys, so forgive me a little second. I'm, I'm not getting any energy drinks today, which is a bit shit. I'm drinking cherry coke, so yeah, it's going to be one minute. Ah, that's nice. I mean, when you get so dry from talking all the time, you're like, I need liquid, I need liquid. Oh, a fellow Vanquish man, how are you doing today? Oh, God, it's a Civic Type R. Please be rear-wheel drive converted, that'd be really, really cool. Now, I don't know if you guys like the um, the rims I put on it. It's the American Torque rims, I believe it is. I think it suits it down to the ground. It's something different. I think it's something different compared to the, the um, other cars that I've got. I'll follow. I'll follow. I'll follow. I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow the fellow Vanquish man. Try and say that. I didn't even say that right. I'll follow the fellow Vanquish man. There we go. That's it. You're speaking English now, AK. That's it. Big round. <laughs> Big round of applause, oh yeah. Anyway, let's see. Now, I can't remember the rear width uh, tires, or like the width of the rear tires, that's what I mean, that I put on this thing, but they are quite grippy. They are pretty damn grippy, so yeah. Oh shit, come on, little Aston. Move your ass. Shake the ass of me. Now shake the ass of me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, he went the other way. Oh, she! I'm so sorry, Aston. <laughs> I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh my god. Oh! Didn't mean to smash the back up there. Smash my bitch up. Oh my god. I actually listened to that this morning, guys. Such a good drifting song, that Smack My Bitch Up by The Prodigy. <laughs> Smack my bitch up. Oh yeah. Come on. Where is everyone? Seriously. Right. Little Honda Civic. I shouldn't have drunk something there because I know I'm going to be burping all the time now. Little Honda Civic. Do you want a little drag race, mate? Bring it on! Spit to fire! It is a spit fire! Yes! Anyway... Shit, that's the thing, right? In Forza Motorsport 4, it was really, really easy to do burnouts, but... Certain cars in Horizon 2 and Forza 5, it's pretty damn hard to do burnouts, as you can see. Here we go, yes! Ripping the tires from their hold! Oh shit! Oh, don't do that! I'm in the middle of driving here! Yes! I'm in the middle of driving. <laughs> Some people keep on saying where do I come from because uh, I speak a little German in the accent uh, in, my, in my videos, but um, I get it from Top Gear. You know when James May says, Gott in Himmel, that one? Um, I get it from Top Gear. I don't know anything else in German apart from Guten Tag, which is good morning, I believe, I think it is, or hello. I've got no fucking idea. Um, that's still the one I know is Gott in Himmel and. Um, Forward Schnell, I think it is forwards or something. I don't know. Scheitzer. <laughs> I got that from James. James May. Scheitzer. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. I'm trying to think where could we could head up to. We'll head up to Montalino, guys. We'll head up to Montalino because I haven't really been up there for a little while because it's a very, very good area and a very, very classic area of the map. It really is. So I'm going to pull over right now and we shall head up there. Bum 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 Why am I doing Match of the Fucking Day? <laughs> That's the Match of the Day song. And here's me say Oh shit, I pressed fast travel. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Oh man. <laughs> god damn it. 
I did not mean to do that. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, guys, later today, I should be recording something with Black Panther. I'm not too sure uh, if he's going to be available, but I'm going to message him after this video. Press X to join them. Right, I don't know, I might change the car again, because Daston's good for a little while. It's good for a little while, but you need to, like, change it after a while, because it does get a little bit boring. We'll bring the Fiat out. I don't know, I've showed you the Fiat before, so... Um, I've not showed you the 1M. I've not showed you the 1M. I'll leave that to a separate episode, guys, because that is a little drift monster. Uh, Caterham... Oh yeah, <laughs> ZR1 baby, this thing is a fucking beast. I have to swear for that one because it literally is, because I mean the style of it and I want it to look like my Corvette, my classic Corvette from GTA and I think I've actually succeeded in that one because I'm not too sure about the flappy spoiler I've put on the back, I might remove that but I mean just listen to it rumble, I mean this is not even me revving it. Just listen to this. The leader of your party. Oh fuck off, Anna! <laughs> Seriously, I was trying to let the I was trying to let you guys hear it, and then Anna has to come and interrupt like a bitch. Is that? Oh, do you want do you want to actually hear the car? Uh, it's too bad. I'm going to tell you about an event. <laughs> you son of a bitch. But anyway, I'll stop again. Let you hear it. Do you hear it? It just sounds so mean when it's rumbling, but I actually let you hear it when it's revving. The leader of your party is starting a race. Are you fucking serious right now? Anna? Shut up, you bitch! <laughs> but I think this thing sounds the best in the bonnet view, so I'll let you hear it as well. And that alpha completely shot itself. <laughs> he comes around the corner and he's like, Oh shit, there's a Corvette ZR1 ready. Actually, why does a fucking alpha male sound in English? Oh mamma mia, it's a Corvette ZR1. I'm going to shoot my pants. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how good this thing is at drifting. Oh, this is one of these cars you need to use cockpit view in. It's like my Skyline GTR that I'd done a build on earlier. Oh my god, it's one of them cars you really need to do cockpit drifting in. <laughs> She's amazing. She really is. I think everyone's away now. I don't know exactly where they are, so... Anyway, we'll just do a little bit of solo drifting. Uh, but as I said, I'll try and make sure to hold an open lobby very, very soon, guys, because I know I've been stalling it for a while, but it is generally very, very hard to set up a time for everyone, because some of you guys come from the US, some of you come from the UK, and all around the world. It's crazy, because... I've checked my YouTube I can't even say that one. statistics and it says that the most viewed area is America, then it is the UK, and then weirdly number three is Germany. <laughs> Hello Germans, how are you doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there's people from like Saudi Arabia, Mexico even, China. I'm surprised that you guys can even understand me. It's crazy, so um, yeah. Oh, there they are, there, there they are. Anyway, we'll do some more drifting guys and then I'm going to end off the video, so... It's just been amazing this little drift log because I wasn't actually going to make a video um, like this today. I was actually going to be doing another free ride episode. I think it was with... No, it was part 7 of the Let's Play. That's what I was going to do because we're only a couple of championships away guys from the finale. And yeah, I'm going to be using Lana in one of them. We're going to be using Lana in the finale because why not? Why the hell not? Because she's my baby. She is my baby. Now, for new subscribers that have just joined in this video, Lana is my F-type. She is beautiful. She really, really is. And if you haven't seen her, you'll see her in future videos. She really, really will. Because um, big thanks to everyone that's been drawn, um, drawn me fan art recently. Because uh, a lot of you guys are drawing Lana as well. So it's bonkers. Really, it's bonkers. So sadly, I don't really have the, the software um, to put the picture over the video right now, so when I get Sony Vegas, um, when I get Sony Vegas, I'll make sure to put the pictures over, because um, you guys are maybe a quite a lot of fan art, or you never know, I might even start doing it at the start or the end of the video, probably the start. Um, so anyway guys, I'm going to round it off here today for the first episode of Drifting Online in Forza Horizon 2, or Cruising, I don't know exactly what it was, but you know what I mean, so yeah, if you guys want to join me online, 
then make sure to friend me on Xbox Live. It is EcoDrifter458, as you can see up there, normally. And if you want to join Petrohead Paradise, which is my club, there is the tag next to my name as well, EKD4. Oh, yes. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you next time. Please do leave it a like, share it around as well if you want to, if you want your friends and buddies to see it. Oh yes, and then um, subscribe if you guys are new. And I always do appreciate the support. Oh shit, fucking alpha. Seriously, that has to be a ruined ending, and it has to be an alpha. Hate saying that about an alpha, but you bitch, son of a bitch. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. From me and everyone in the lobby and the ZR1, peace. Why? Why? <laughs> Seriously? Come on. Anyway, peace.